Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, I haven't done a video from my shed for a long time. It's been probably over a year since I've been doing stuff in the shed. Because um, very much my, my boy's been playing games in here on my on the gaming machine I've got here. Uh, well, not this one, one done on the floor. <laughs> but he's been gaming in quite a while and I thought, time to do some more videos and shed, start getting stuff done and get more videos out there on YouTube, get, get much more new subscribers. So thanks to all the new subscribers. Well, I've been sorting around the shed, trying to get things sorted out, get my bench retidy, getting the cablings done and that, getting a second monitor up on the, on the wall. And I came across this old machine that's been sitting down on the floor on my shed for the last probably year and a half, maybe two years. And I know it's an old machine, it's come from a, a, an old uh, an old customer that I used to have um, and it's been sat with me ever since then. It's followed me from my mum's to here. Again, I've done nothing with it. It's got a gigabyte board in there. It's a G8-F2A55M-D2 by gigabyte. It's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Well, it comes with four gig of RAM. I'm not sure what the processor is. I know it's an A and D processor, but I'm not sure the speed of it because I haven't got any in here to boot up on to have to have a look anyway. And I was thinking, what can we actually use this machine for? I get a lot of comments coming up at the moment, like, you know, what can we turn things into? Just think about a normal desktop for something to use. Add a, a nice 250 gig SSD drive in it. Bang, where we go. I'm not sure about the manufacturer because it says it supports Windows 8.1, but doesn't show where it supports Windows 10 and doesn't say where it does not support Windows 10. So it's a matter of installing Windows 10 to see if it actually does work or not. But then I'm thinking, well, we can actually turn it into a Plex server. A lot of people have been asked questions about um, sort of unraids and things you can do with your old system. And I looked at upgrading this to a decent game, roughly a decent gaming machine, not not a, a budgetable gaming machine. I was I think about, you could spend 250, gig, 250 pounds on a graphics card to go in there because it will support one. Upgrading RAM to 32 gig. On Crucial, you're looking at 300 pounds. On Amazon, you're looking at 166, it's a bit expensive. Um, you probably want to upgrade the processor as well, so you're probably looking about another 60, 70, maybe 80 pounds, depending if this can be upgraded to a bit more faster speed. Then I thought, well, that's expensive. Um, I would probably look at doing an Unraid Plex server, uh, running as a, as like, stream movies to your house, stream movies to your mobile phone and iPad. This will be great. So I will take the four gigabyte RAM in here, add another four gig into it, that's probably about like 30 pounds. Uh, I will place in there, uh, well, I'm gonna use it for, for um, Plex server, I will install two of these SS drives, uh, 250 gig uh, in there itself. So they'll go in, bang, bang, to two slots there. I'll remove the DVD drive and I'll um, fit two drives in here and there'll be 10, 10 terabytes each. I'll set, fit a third 10, by, 10, 10, <laughs> 10 terabyte hard drive just underneath here. Um, and that'll give me three drives with a total capacity of around about 30 terabytes of storage for Plex uh, media files. Because you think about it, uh, a Plex movie, so if you're looking at downloading a movie, uh, a film, so roughly a film will take roughly five five gigs, five gigs gigabyte per film. And you've got about 100 films on there that can take a lot of space up. Um, and when you start downloading uh, box sets, TV box sets, that's when they start gobbling away at the moment. Because I've got one box set, and it's got like six seasons. It's over 300 gigabyte. And that's just one TV box set, and you've got multiple TV box sets. You can go through a lot of hard drive space really, really quick. These drives are acting as a caching drive, so great for streaming with. And your main drives, where all your not your streaming, all your movie files, or box sets will sit. And we'll load Unraid on here. So we need to buy a 32 gig um, stick to go in the back, which Unraid boots off. That's probably about 11 quid. 11 quid for that. Um, these um, will cost about 60 pounds each, roughly 50, 60, depends where you shop from. We're getting a bit more cheaper. Um, and the 10 terabyte hard drives is actually shop around because you can get different deals on those. So 10 terabyte hard drives, different deals, or you can go for 20 terabyte hard drives and that gives you, what, 60 uh, <laughs> terabytes of storage space. Depends how big you want your um, storage space to be, depends how big your movie collections are. All, right, all my movies and my box sets are brought through iTunes and I use a, a DRM ripper to rip the copy section off so I can drop it into Plex because Plex won't play movie files from iTunes. And that way I can stream it all around the house to iPads, iPhones, and obviously to big TVs that runs like the uh, Rio keys and things like that. Streaming devices, works to tree, really nice. And you can also access from um, outside your network because um, the Plex player allows you to put budget through the firewall quite nice and easy and play it remotely. So if you're actually around a friend's house and you've got your Plex um, app on your phone, you can bang stream it away, which is really, really cool. 
I've got a Plex server here and also got a Plex server at my flat because they're under the, my, under the same Plex account. I can see both boxes and I can flip between the films. So if I find on my, on my Plex server, uh, I've got boring films, I can drop onto this Plex server and look at other playing other films. So as long as you've got a decent bandwidth between both sites, it works pretty damn well. And it's quite a, way, quite a cheap way of doing it. Um, if you're a small business out there, another thing we could use this for. Um, so if you're a small business between five and ten users and you just want literally a dedicated file server or, or NAS server or such, then we can literally install um, four of these drives. Um, but I will go for one terabyte drives. If you've got big deep pockets, I'll go for four two terabyte drives of these. You won't need an additional RAID card because you can use them off on board. So there's enough on there on board to run four of these drives in there. Uh, low line RAID onto it, memory stick key, stick a bit of metal actual RAM into it, bang, you've got a decent file server for storing all your files and stuff. And I will say you run them on SSD on two terabyte drives, uh, two terabyte SSD drives because then you've got the speed of the SSD making the network nice and fast for reading and writing to the network and stuff. And then you can easily then buy um, one of those NAS drive boxes from Western Digital. They also support this, um, it's called Sync on it, um, Rio Sync. And you can also comes with Plex as well. And if you link them two up over the internet, that can act as a backup drive, so you can have all your stuff mirroring off site. And it does it by date, by byte by byte. So every time you make changes, it's sending those changes off site all the time. So that way you can have working file server at the office while having another bo box at home as your backup drive, and it's syncing both ways, which is really nice. A good way of backup. Simple, easy solution. Easy on the on the pocket. You don't need these massive file servers unless you've got hundreds of thousands of users on your network. So um, yeah. So any questions you got, guys? Please drop them below. Uh, I will put my email address um, so you can get a hold of me. And any questions you've got, come over. Uh, like we did with the last one, Kev gave me an email uh, about a couple of questions about Unmade and virtualization. Uh, I replied back with a video on that, so it was working quite well. Got to reply another video back soon as well. But yeah, any questions you've got, please, please. Um, comment below or send me an email and go from there. So thanks to all the new subscribers on my channel, thank you very much. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down the bottom there. And uh, go look at all my, other, all my other videos as well to see, see what I've been getting up to. And do obviously check out jacksgear.co.uk on my and see you on the next video. Cheers.